As you can already see by the title, I am going to be following makeup tutorials of girls that whose makeup I've seen a lot. I don't want to say catfish, but like the transformation is very drastic. So I wanted to try it myself and see if I could do it. But like it's like hard because people have different face and eye shapes. So obviously mine probably won't turn out the same, but I'm too lazy to do the stuff that I should be doing and would rather spend time doing this instead. Hashtag procrastination. I'm not having a great skin time, as you can tell. Comparatively in my life, this isn't too bad, but comparatively from the past couple of weeks, this is a bad moment for me. So what I decided to do is put on a bunch of makeup. And it's New Year's Eve, so I have an excuse. I got this idea after watching Eve a first f for sir her makeup tutorial that came into my recommended where it says transform myself into an instagram filter and i was like whoa i've seen this girl before i didn't follow her on instagram until after i watched this video but i was like wow i have always seen people like that and been like how do their faces look like that and watching her thumbnail versus the video and her post there's definitely or I'm pretty sure there's some photoshopping and people have probably already seen that other girl's video where she's like all the facetune on Instagram but her makeup does go a very long way so I'm gonna try it out for myself but yes I am specifically going to be following her transforming myself into an Instagram filter video also these girls have way clearer skin than me so different skin types different face and eye and structure shape but I am going to end this video with how I typically do like not a prom glam but not an everyday look like that in between where I know I'm going to be taking Instagram pictures that day so that's how I'm going to end the video so I'm going to follow one tutorial by Eve FRSR one tutorial by Zephanie Zhang who I feel does some pretty um, nice makeup transformations and if I can find another person I can think of maybe one more but I'm just gonna go with those two and then do me just have an even three also I keep looking over here because my computer's right here and that's where I'm gonna be looking to do the tutorial and then I'm gonna do my makeup at the mirror right here to start off I'm just gonna take all the pimple patches that I already placed on but my skin is technically already prepped like I washed my face in the morning and did my toner and then um, my face oil, so only next thing would be primer. Ew. Not gonna show you this. First, I shall clip back my hair. I've been doing a lot of talking. Let's start with the first transformation. I think I'm gonna put the video right here, and then I'll just show parts that I'm following along with, so then I don't have to really voice over or do anything. You know, it's my time of the month, if you will, so things are going bad for me. My skin's breaking out. Um, it's just not good. <laughs> but that moment when she said, my skin's bad, and it's like, this many pimples. The cool thing is that my hair's kind of faded away, but it's basically the same colors as hers when she does this video, so that's cool. Okay, so first off, I'm going to prime. The soft cover pore bomb primer that I got from a Korean warehouse sale. The cool thing about this primer is like a little bit really does go a long way. You just slather this all over your face and then you have to leave it for one minute to like set on your skin. Natalie. I'm gonna do the next step she said, which is her foundation. So I have my beauty blender. The Clinique Acne Solutions one. This is the most recent one I've been using because that. And also, it's pretty decently priced. What I usually like to do is I like to clean like a surface of a plastic lid like this so that when I use the foundation, I could just put it on there. And I'm not like putting my foundation on my hand or something where it will get all soaked up. And then, my hands are clean. I did wash them. I'll just use my finger to dab the foundation. It looks way darker on camera than it does in real life. I'm just gonna plop this everywhere, basically. 
As I said, this is like intense natural. So the concealer I'm going to be using is going to be a lot lighter. But first, I'm going to just do my normal concealer. Don't be afraid to go like crazy with it. You said go crazy with this, so I'm going to go crazy. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Natural. The most too light, I guess, would be this Morphe one. I'm just going to put that in between all the concealer I just did. And I'm going to put a little bit here. Because this is basically just like the contour I'm going to do. For contour, she used a cream what kind, but I have liquid. So I'm also using the LA Girl Pro Conceal for in a darker shade for contour. This is almond. And I'm just going to go a little bit crazy with it. Basically the goal of this is to look like a kind of like a doll or like an anime character kind of deal. I'm just going to blend in my nose contour with a little flat brush. You know, I actually am starting to see a little bit of a difference. Yeah, I'm going to go on powder next. I'm just going to bake. Fun fact, the powder I use is um, arrowroot flour. And I got that when I was really on a budget when I was younger starting to do makeup. I think it was like my junior year of high school or sophomore year of high school when I bought it. Probably junior. And then I kind of just like... I think I'm putting it on more spots than she did, but it's fine. I kind of just looked like free or cheap alternatives to makeup or like to different types of makeup, like setting powder. So I tried to make my own lipsticks and all that. And all of them were kind of a hot mess, like the mascaras with Vaseline and all that kind of stuff that people would do. Except for this, I've been using this for, since I bought it, mostly because I have to use it up, but also it works, so doesn't leave flashback, it's not too powdery, it's just like pretty good. So arrowroot flower, you can buy it in bulk and you'll be set for life. And I've just been using this e.l.f. high definition powder container to hold it. It is, you can tell it's very loose because it gets everywhere too. I'm going to take the next highlight and contour pro palette, which is this. I'm just going to go a little bit more in. It looked like bit creamish but i'm just gonna do powder because that's what i have this is the bomb desert one also i'm using a foundation brush and i think there's about a hundred like makeup artists just like screeching in their house right now I'm just gonna take away all the powder okay i'm gonna go in with blush and i'm just gonna blend those two together i'm gonna put the darkest or the pinkest one more towards this and the peachy one more in the middle. So honestly, all of mine are pretty pink, but I have this nude lip thing that I have actually used as blush before. So I think I'm gonna use that as the inside. I'm gonna use the California. Prepare to be shocked, because I'm gonna go quite hard. I'm just gonna take that right up into my temple. Looks quite intense, but it's fine. I'm going to do some fake freckles and this is I think makes the look of the natural and natural makeup. <laughs> I actually have real freckles but with the makeup it covers them up a little bit. Not all of them, you can still see them peeking through. So I'm just going to use my eyebrow pencil and just dot a bunch all over. I'm going to use my Morphe eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm going to take the Benefit Cabrow. So I'm going to be using the famous Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade to do my eyebrows. I'm going to maintain my slit though, even though she doesn't have one. The lighting looks super bad on the camera because it's not focusing, but it's way clearer for me in the mirror. It looks so crazy on camera, but the finished look will be better because of it. I'm actually going to put a little bit of blush just on the bridge of my nose a little bit more again. I'm just going to take the darkest shade and put it, so I'm going to put it here. And so just For this next part, I'm going to take out my James Charles palette. I'm going to use this brush from my Nude Tube palette just because I feel like it gives me the effect that I'm looking for that she does. And I'm going to take the one I contoured with earlier and blend it. Morphe brush in M222 to blend that out. So now I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go high with the wing, I'm gonna take it a little bit lower. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D one. I'm not anti-vaxxer, but this came as a free sample, so I'm gonna use it. 
So the key to this is just go all or nothing. This is one of my toxic traits, <laughs> is putting on fake eyelashes way before I finish my makeup, so. So these are the lashes I'm using. They're actually super natural probably compared to what she's doing, so I won't be getting the full effect, unfortunately. But I just don't wanna be like wasting my good eyelashes or something like that. And these are the Look So Natural by Kiss. Next, what I'm gonna do is just try and my best to stack these on top. I'm basically just gonna try and put it more towards the end so that yeah there we go she just stacked eyelashes i'm gonna use these super cheap korean ones that my aunt got me and i'm probably gonna put them on very badly you know what i might cut one in half because hers looked shorter yeah i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut them in half I'm gonna go back into the contour palette and I'm gonna take the darkest shade again. I'm gonna go below my natural lash line. So I'm gonna join it up here and then I'm just gonna go in this black now. I'm just gonna do some little fake eyelashes down here. And I'm just gonna create a little thingy here. And then she uses like a brown eyeliner into the inner corner, but it basically looks black, so I'm just gonna go black. I'm gonna take this glitter and I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna go with this silver glitter eyeliner thing. That looks like this. I'm just gonna apply that all over. Next, she uses a very white sparkly highlighter, so I'm just gonna go with the white sparkly highlighter from, from a shimmer eyeshadow. Some mascara. Blend everything together, I guess. You know what? It is starting to look a little doll-like. I'm gonna use this thick Urban Decay Perversion sample I have. Just gotta do the lips. But I'm just gonna overline as much as possible. So I don't know why I didn't just do this earlier, but I just set up the phone on the light. Okay, next thing she does, now that we have better lighting, is use a brownish, reddish toned lip which I feel like Avenue from Colourpop kind of is. But hers is buildable and this is really thick. So I'm going to go over with my finger. And she overlines, but I have pretty decent sized lips. So I'm just going to go with my regular line. Okay, I'm going to take the Black Moon Cosmetics and Devil. And I'm going to put that on the, in the inner. So mine is already pretty red. So instead of doing more red in the middle like hers, I'm going to do more nude on the outside. This Stay Glossy by Rimmel. And Blushing Belgraves. Like so. I hope it looks like, it does look like an Instagram part or like, geez. Okay, this is the completed look. I'm gonna go put on earrings like what she did and then fix my hair. This is actually crazy. Like, I obviously don't look exactly the same as her, but this definitely gives me an idea of that look that i was wondering how people get how they look like on instagram and yeah this is definitely very doll-ish like and it's not like abg because like she said the freckles do make it different but yeah i think this is gonna be my new year's eve look thanks just a little bit later since i finished but i just realized who i Remind myself of CL from 21. I feel like I'm giving off those vibes right now. Partly because she's Asian, but not only. Because the cat eye too, and I guess the lips too, and everything. I'm just feeling the CL vibes right now. That's cool. This new year ended up being super lame because I didn't go anywhere and my sister irritated me. But at least I look good all the time. It's New Year's Day, my skin hasn't gone better, but I'm going ice skating with my friends tonight, so let's do the second look. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial from another YouTuber who has come up in my recommended lately, and it's Antsy Twinkle. She has a couple makeup tutorials that shows how she like catfishes or how she completely transforms herself. And honestly, hers wasn't as crazy of a transformation, but I couldn't find another one, so I'm gonna use hers. The one I'm gonna watch of hers is the first one I've ever watched of hers and I think it's her viral one and it's how to look bomb in your passport 
that the officer can identify you. So as I've already said, my skin has been a hot, hot mess lately. Wish I could tell you why, but it is. And it really made me start remembering why I used to wear so much makeup in like junior year and some of senior year. And that's because my skin was bad. And before anyone says anything, makeup is not the reason why my skin is bad because I do not wear makeup a lot. The only time I do wear makeup is when I have to cover it up. So that's not the cause. Anyways, let's move on to me putting on makeup. If you look at my eyebrows, you can see how lifted and arched this one is. I fill them in so you really can see it. Like, look at this, how arched. So my eyebrows, not thicker, but they are a little wider than her. So my arch won't be as lifted, I guess. I use the razor on top and kind of shave them down to get that perfect. I'm just filling my brows and we're done. I have super thick cybers that grow so thick all the way like this. So what I do is I actually get them lasered, but uh, for now, we're just gonna shave them off so first some moisturizer um okay next she uses a moisturizer instead of a primer i don't know how i feel about that i feel like my skin maybe just gets a little bit more oily than hers probably if she's not using primer like that and she chooses moisturizer but i'm gonna go in with primer and then i use this corrector to correct any blemishes acne scars under eye and around the mouth for this i'm gonna switch between the natural from la girl pro conceal and the neutral from naked my face is framed with acne is how you could best describe it the front part right here not counting my forehead right here it's fine it's fine once you hit the edges, that's when it's a hot mess. I don't really use concealer as primer, but I know it works pretty well, so it's fine. Okay, she doesn't use a beauty blender, but I really like using beauty blenders, but well, I'll use a brush like what she does. Honestly, I feel like when I wear makeup, it helps my acne because then I'm not thinking about it, which means I'm not touching it, which means I'm not getting it dirty. So I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender now, even though she didn't. I know it seems like I'm breaking a lot of these makeup tutorial rules, but they're like harmless breaks. If anything, they're helpful. This is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, and then I use a brush, push it all the way to my skin. This is a fake artiste brush, but it works, so I'm gonna use this. Sometimes I like to mix serums into my foundations, forgot to do it yesterday. I'm gonna mix in the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. If you're doing your makeup in the morning, I wouldn't recommend using vitamin C in your makeup just because it doesn't react well in the sun. And especially if you have sensitive skin like me. So since I'm going out at night, it's gonna be fine. The next thing that I go in with is my NYX Stay Matte. Stay Matte, but not flat foundation. A little on my forehead. I had a huge forehead and just put it over here. It made my forehead look so small. Like next thing she does is contour which I've been noticing is a pattern in all of these transformation videos. So maybe I should start incorporating that into my routine. But I don't know, when I do my bronzer, I just feel like it's too much every time, but that's how it looks on them. And I guess when you blend it out, completed look thing, like I said earlier. First, this girl's trying to say she got super, a bunch of acne scars, and now she's saying she got a big forehead. Let's make this a competition, sis. Okay, listen, this is my mistake. I never blend my jaw contour, but I like it. I can at least see a beard here. My friends would always be like, you need to put it down. So I'm just gonna give you the good advice. You do have to put it like here. Like, but I'm a little crazy, so I go a little on top. Now my next step for concealer. Okay, this is my trick. You want to push it in, but don't take that white cast part away. You don't want to take it out. That's what gave me that cheeks full of like Botox under eye look. So for eyeshadow, I'm not doing much. I'm using the NYX bronzer. So this is the highlighted part and this is where my contour starts now she went in with bronzer so it looks like we're doing concealer twice and bronzer twice moving on to my eyes i wanted that almond cat eye look whatever you used for your nose pull it in here and i kind of wing it out like that and then i'm using the sleek contour kit palette and what i do is i use a shimmery shadow right in the center ring light from james charles palette I use my brow pencil here. I kind of pull it in. This gives you that instant cat eye look. You know, if you want, you can just create some shadow here by just using some eyeshadow, bronzer, anything dark here. That would instantly give you the puffy eye look. I'm just gonna buff out the powder. A blush is one of my favorite products when it comes to makeup. I put it all over my face. Like, just when you thought I was done, I'm not. We're gonna be contouring my face now. This She's just contouring again! <sighs> what is she doing? <laughs> Just to make things different, I'll go in with a brown, really light brown eyeshadow and with this brush. 
I'm gonna go with Burkina from my Juvia's Palace palette. She also does mascara and curl them, but like we said, I don't have lashes. There's no point in wasting my time doing that. When I say lashes, like I mean the big scary ones that scare your mom away. So huge, so big that even your dog cannot identify you. This is the one. And she has longer lower lashes than me. So I'm gonna do the eyeliner thing where I make fake lashes on the bottom with the Stella micro tip. Now we have highlighter left and highlight here. Like don't apply here, not here, but right here. And on top of my brows as well. This is the MAC Cosmetics Impulsive Lipstick. I'm gonna go in with Times Square from ColourPop. A good amount of setting spray. Urban Decay All Nighter. Then I'm using this little guy that I got from Miniso. Just a good fan to fan everything out. And she has an electric fan, but I'm gonna use this BTS fan that I got at a flea market-ish thing-ish kind of thing in Vancouver. I'll come back after I dress up. So I'm doing the lip look from Eve's instead because I like that one better. I think that me and Nancy just really do not have the same physical attributes for that makeup look. And I'm just gonna do concealer, dot dot dot. Clean that contour up because it's just too much contour. I just can't do that, that's just not me. I feel like I should throw on some eyeliner too. Oh, freckles. Since it's me, I'm gonna go in with white because that's just my thing. Okay, so I didn't obviously stray from Ansi's look, but I just it just wasn't me. So the next one you'll see is how I do my makeup, which will have zero contour, but that might change in the future just because how I've been seeing it lately. But yeah, I'm gonna go ice skating now, berets and hoodies. So even though it was super crowded, I now have another ugly scar on my foot because I got a blister from going too hard at ice skating. And also I forgot a jacket, but luckily I was able to borrow Vienna's. At the end of the day, I still looked cute. And it was a really fun time hanging out with my sisters and our friends at ice skating and getting food and ice cream after. So successful night, New Year, I guess. My skin's still not better. But I'm actually really not doing anything much today. I'm just going out to eat with Jasmine and Haley, and then going out to eat again with Lauren Parmalee and Jeremy and Tessa, and then we're exchanging secret Santa gifts. Like I said, last one, I'm gonna show you what I usually do. And then I think I'm gonna end this video with telling you guys what I learned from this experience, I guess, and what I'm taking from it, because I am gonna be taking some things. I'm gonna show you my routine now, but after the last two looks, I'm probably gonna change it up a little bit, but I'll show you how I actually did do it before I did those stuff. I already put on primer and washed my face and everything, and I have pimple patches on, but I'm gonna keep them on because it's my own look. I don't have to commit to somebody else's perfect look. I'm keeping the pimple patches on, okay? I like to start with color correct because of my pimples. So here's a green one. Um, I should probably get another one, but I just got this one a while back when I just like really needed one. It's the first one I saw. It's by Hard Candy. So I just put some on my cheeks even though I don't have pimples there because my face gets red really easily. And then I would use a yellow one for acne scars, but I think the pimples are outweighing the acne scars right now. I use one of these brushes, which you've seen me use in the other looks, to um, blend out the, just to blend out the color correct a little bit. But next, I go over this with foundation. Plastic cap, my foundation that's a tiny bit too dark. And we just did Secret Santa last night. I always like to mix things into my foundation just because my skin's so bad. I like to just give something just to help it. So we, I had another Secret Santa last night and I got the e.l.f. Nourishing Facial Drops, which was on my list. So I'm just going to do, let's say, three drops. And I just use the back of any brush and mix that up. And as usual, I'll go in with the finger for all of our application. <gasps> okay, so I already messed up my own routine. Something I like to do before I even do foundation is the eyebrows with the pencil. Because I don't like putting it on after the foundation, but I have to now. Just because I'm running out of the Morphe one, as I already said, I'm going to use sand from Maybelline and a concealer brush. 
because usually I use my finger for that. It's because it's more precise. And then when the leftover's left, I'll swipe in the front just to give that faded look. And if I don't like how the eyebrows are, if I'm not satisfied with them, I just go back in with the pencil just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Like I might use it to clean up the slit. Then I go over with the brow gel and I'm actually running out of the Glossier Boy brow, so that sucks. And again, this isn't glam for like if I'm going to the club or something. This is like if I'm on vacation and I'm trying to look good for these non-local boys. Next, I use primer and I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. The Urban Decay one is a really popular one, but that one stings my eyelids for some reason. So I like to use a shadow insurance. Depending on what I'm trying to do, what I'm wearing, my eyeshadows will be different. If I want to go more like subtle, natural, like if I'm going to be an extra for a TV show, can't go into details about that, I don't think. I will just do like, um, just matte brown, just blend it, blend it, blend it out so you can't really tell unless you know about makeup and then maybe a little shimmer. But most of the time, I just like to do a little pop of color, a color pop. So I like doing blue a lot just because my hair is blue right now. I like to do whatever my hair color is. But since I'm wearing purple today, I can do a little purple and blue. With the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's, I'm gonna go in with this round tip brush with the Zola. I'll put it on inside my crease. I have double eyelids and then my lid is like very slow as you can see so I just like to fill in that tiny tiny area with the color. For the inner corners, I noticed that with eyeshadow, unless you're only doing inner corners, the eyeshadow can be too dramatic. So I go in with a colored highlighter instead and again, I'm not anti-vaxxer but I got this a long time ago. The Alchemist Holographic Palette by Kat Von D. A little bit of a fluffy brush. I'm gonna use um, ultraviolet amethyst which is purple. The round brush again and go with Dahlia tiny tiny bit and just do. Oh I'm st this is really bad because I'm really just forgetting everything I do. I might just remake this another day but while I'm doing my eyeshadow I would bake. I'll use like another brush like this Sometimes I use my beauty blender to pack it on, but I just don't like putting the powder on the wet brush. So I'll just use another brush and just tap it on. Tap on my arrowroot flower. Under the eyes, like everyone does. And then because my T-zone gets oily a lot, do some right here. And honestly, all over my forehead, I'll pack it on. Just because my forehead is the place that gets the most oily. And just because I see everyone else do it, I'll do along the jawline too. So now I'm going to go in with this my fluffy powder brush and just brush it all off, brush it all off. I don't do contour or bronzer or anything, so now for the blush and highlight and other stuff. I go in with this type of brush. Sometimes I like to do colored um, highlights, sometimes I just go in with the regular colored, but let's do colored today. I'm just gonna do ultraviolet amethyst and actually I'll do that just on one side. And actually, I just realized with these ones, I like to use the smaller brush just because it's more precise. So for the other side, I'm going to do the blue sapphire. So depending on which way you look at me, if you wear a blue or purple highlight with this smaller version of that brush for under the eyebrow. Then for my nose, let's just go with the regular one for the nose. I'm going to go in with the Mary Luminizer. And then I'll just do a little on the forehead right here. And then a little on the chin right here. And also with my finger, I'll do a top on the upper lip. The way I like to do the blush is with this Morphe brush Y3. And I have lots of blushes, but lately I've just been using my California one. I do it like right next to the nose because I like to do the across the nose thing. So I put it on directly like this. So when I want to blend it out, I'll just use the side of the brush and just blend, 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 blend. I love white eyeliner because I like using it as to make freckles. I'm going to use my finger and then just swipe a little bit just so it's not too harsh. End it with false eyelashes. The lashes I'm going to be using, I actually don't remember what lashes they are, but these are honestly more dramatic than the other ones I've used these past few days. But so that's what they look like. I'll just go in with like an eyeliner to fill in the gaps. The one I'm using right now is the Stella 
all day one. Now I'm gonna do my hair and outfit and come back. So I decided to go a little extra with the earrings as usual, whatever. And um, I didn't want to put a hat on because I like, my, since my hair gets oily so fast, I like to keep it hat free after I wash it. So I just went in with my Coraline Dragon Five Planet. This is my first time wearing it not as Coraline. And I really like it. I actually really love this. I want to get more stuff like this. But yeah. I do be catfishing just because my skin isn't this clear and my eyebrows aren't this thick. I These lashes are very, very dramatic though. But you can definitely, it's not as crazy as a difference as the other two looks. So let's talk about the stuff that I will be incorporating from those other looks on my catfish days. Probably going to start contouring now because that clearly seems to be a pattern in not just their two videos but a bunch of other catfish um, transformation videos that I've seen. I really liked the lip look that Eve did or my version of it at least. I might even do that right now actually. I went a little darker on the lip actually and it does not, it, my face looks so dark on camera but it looks fine in real life actually. Um, if anything it looks like my natural lips just a little bit darker just and glossier just because my natural lips are already pretty pigmented. Another thing that I'm definitely going to incorporate, not all the time, but sometimes, is the dramatic wing. And because I don't do wings usually, but just like the contour, they've convinced me. So something that Ansi did that I liked is I liked how she used her bronzer. Like if she used the bronzer for one color, she used that as the same brown shade for like her eyes or something. And I was like, wait, that's actually smart. So I'm probably going to do that. But yeah. That is all three catfish looks, two wore tutorials I followed, and one is my own that I've cultivated over the years. Stay tuned for my next video, whatever it is.